this trip? I think so, yeah. I mean, I think originally I was really hoping to get on that trip and start playing. Um, but, you know, maybe I was a little hasty in that goal. And, uh, I mean, nothing's guaranteed for me. So, I sh you know, I get these ideas in my head. And, and, you know, at some point I have to also realize, like, you know, do the safest thing, the best possible opportunity to play basketball again, rather than just, you know, letting my angst get the better of me and jumping back in there. And, and really, you know, I mean, if it doesn't work this time, you know, I'm really put the season in jeopardy. I'm really kind of back to the square one with like, what, three months or left in the season. It leaves me, you know, with very little opportunity. So I, I know I can get healthy it's a matter of kind of sustaining it and just trying to get that health under my belt for an amount of time where we feel confident that it can be sustainable is, is the tricky part and that's going to probably take you know um, a little while longer than I was hoping. Are things moving in the right direction? Yeah they are I mean every time I get a chance to go to Vancouver I really improve and um, you know it's you know but it's tough right getting up and back and you know that's such a uh, kind of um, an, an, an ordinary uh, proposition, right? But you know, I have every confidence we can get there on the, the work we've done up there and and and, and here and um, putting the two together. You know, I, I feel confident and I have a chance to play again. It's just a matter of how you know how lucky am I, how how you know strong can I get in that area to protect that those nerve roots and. That lower spine. Has it been two or three trips there? So far? Yeah. it's been three during the season. Yeah, um, I came back from the one trip and practiced those three days and felt great. And then, you know, like two days later on two light days, I just my left leg just like shut off. Like I'm just shooting. I couldn't couldn't get couldn't feel it. The muscles working and it was like fatiguing. And like ten minutes of light shooting. That's classic neuropathy apparently. So I've become a bit of an expert. Yeah, I mean, for whatever reason, there's a setback there. I don't know what it is. You know, I mean, I guess you could easily say that I, uh, I couldn't sustain those three days of practice, but it was two days after the practice. And, you know, so I guess what I'm saying is that, you know, it's going to take a special effort to, to keep it going while I'm playing. Um, and so, yeah, I, I think it can be done. It's just going to be a, it's a, it's a real dogfight. It's been it's been brutal. Have you thought about you know that obviously things have turned to the worst with the season, mm -hmm. the comeback and the teams fifteen games under five hundred yeah. or something like that? Like, yeah, that would be like well, I mean, I, I you know I don't really think in those terms at all, just because I really want to I love I want to play. I, I just want to play the game, and um, I love playing. I really love the game, and and I know that I've got a very short window of basketball in my life, so I just want to get out there and play and try to build a little bit of health and confidence and, and ability to, to, to finish out my career. And so whether we're way down or way up, you know, I mean, we might factor that in at the, at the time, but I don't, you know, I'm just fighting to get whatever I can. What's been your view from the bench as far as all these guys? Kind of yeah, I mean, succeed? you know, I think that you can't, you can't, I think it's really a, silly to keep talking about it in terms of uh, what, to keep talking about without you know it, like facing the facts that we have a lot of injuries you know and like our team was doing so well with a bunch of injuries and then you have a few more mm -hmm. I mean at what point has it become like you, that's got to be factored in you know on the other hand yeah, you know the times yeah you'd like to see the guys play a little more confidence move the ball a little quicker and um, you know it, but I mean, this is a tired stretch of the season. They've been playing short. Uh, you know, a lot of guys in and out of the lineup. It's hard to do, and uh, so you know, it's hard business to be proud of your guys when you're losing five in a row. But they're, you know, one thing that I will say about this group that I'm extremely proud of is that this type of situation in the NBA, nine out of ten times, you know, is one that of disaster. You know, or if guys start going their own way and they stop listening to the coach and. You know, you got a real combustible atmosphere. It's amazing, and I tribute to the players and coaches and staff that you know this is still a positive environment. You know, guys still like coming to work every day. They're working hard together. They go out and they try to beat people, and you know they're in the game against Miami. They're you know they're in all these games. They're losing just as, as one more man goes down every night almost. It's like 
you know, you, you're going to end up without getting into, you know, the ebbs and flows of your of your form during the season. It's going to be difficult. Do you have any actual target date that you maybe look at in terms of before you have to push it back to that three month gap you're talking about? Um, like as far as the three month rehabilitatory gap? I mean, in terms of coming back this time around as progressively get better. Is there like a like to play again. Yeah. Well, I mean, I think, you know, I, I came in hoping the last couple of days that I was still in the back of my mind going to possibly make the get Grammy trip, if not the start of it, somewhere in there early. But, you know, I think, and, and, and Gary, I think, makes perfect sense. And, you know, in, in kind of um, convincing me that that's maybe a little hasty and that the safest thing is to go back up to Vancouver instead of flying all around the country uh, and really get my two days in a 10 12 day training camp in there and then come back and practice for a week and um, and try to play so you know you do the math but sometime around the end of the month the first week of February probably I guess the first week of February probably makes sense after a week of practice but you know again it's all super speculative at this point because it's such a weird tricky dimension when you're talking about this um, this nerve issue. What kind of things are you doing in Vancouver, especially to, to try to get your body? I mean, there's a physical therapy standpoint, like what I do with Judy here. And then the, the part that I do on top of that, there is a, a lot of uh, movement, um, trying to clean up my movement, trying to relearn to move, you know, like we do as a kid, kind of uninhibited and um, to move with the right strategies and have the right sequence muscle sequences in your movements the right firing patterns so you know I always hesitate to get into the specifics of it because it ends up getting completely bastardized but it's you know even by myself who's done it for a long time but um, you know basically a lot of training strength postural endurance and stability and then movement stability with movement and um, basically just giving myself an opportunity not to put pressure on that spine to move freely and clearly and withstand the demands and the abuse of, of the game of basketball and, and for to protect the spine and the nerve roots in doing so. Um, so it's, it's hard. It's, it's, it's hard physically, but it's really hard mentally because it takes a lot of concentration to build up to that place where you can just let go and, and move. And then you're kind of in the training phase, which you want to get some, you know, you want to I don't know what the word is, but put some extra in the bank account so that you can withstand the play. And, and that's another thing that's, that, that just eats away at me every day is how far away I am from the game. You know, it's been almost two months now. I don't know, but, you know, it takes a while to get your rhythm and, you know, everything down. So, you know, the anxiety and stress over the last eight months has been uh, very uh, unwelcomed. For sure. Another, another view from the bench question: like What's your sense with all the different things going on with Pal, like his oh. health stuff, mm -hmm. being linked with trade possibilities? How does he make the best of the, these circumstances that he's going through, fight through all that? Well, Pal's, you know, he's he's a smart guy. He understands it's a business. He also has had a tremendous career. Uh, he's been an all-star in this league and uh, won championships and all that stuff. So he, you know, I think. He knows what it's all about, and uh, you know he'll, he'll handle it accordingly. Um, and you know, as far as his game, it's it. You know, you see flashes of pow, and then other times you realize, you know, it's, it's, he's carrying an injury, or he's sick, or he's um, you know got a lot of miles, and and you know, I think with all the change and everything, it's not you know it's something where everyone's adapting still, and so you're gonna see some nights where he struggles but other nights you see him look amazing and um, that's the type of season I think it's going to be uh, with all the all the stuff we've had going on with the injuries his illness the changes in the lineup you know the way Mike wants us to play it really depends on guys to move and and share the ball make quick decisions I mean you got different guys in and out of the lineup you don't always get that rapport as quickly as you'd like and um, so it, it breeds for a little bit of inconsistency in everyone's play, but you can see. I mean, look how well the guys did. You know, 10 and 9 at one point with a shell of the roster. It's, it's phenomenal when guys just give it up for each other and play with energy. Was, was that a little surprising since I think like going to see is, I mean, I know the health component's an issue, but there was kind of the prevailing theory that, hey, without your life here, he's going to be the focus one, he's going to have more room to operate, mm -hmm. where he's comfortable. Yeah, um, you, know, you know, I mean, I, 
it hasn't quite worked out that way, but you, you, I wouldn't want to give up on a guy like Powell. With the way everything's gone since he joined the team, is there anything that can happen now that can kind of salvage this experience? Yeah, man, well, it's been a nightmare. Um, having said that, I've, you know, couldn't express how much I've enjoyed being a part of the organization, the staff, front office, uh, fans. I mean, everyone's treated me, you know, incredibly well and, and better than I could ever ask for. So, so in some ways, it's been a phenomenal experience. But as far as basketball goes, it's just been, you know, one disappointment after another. And um, the, you know, the only thing I'll ask for at this point is to get my health and be able to contribute. And then after that, depending on what happens in the future and, and how this team rounds out, uh, you know, we'll, worry, we'll figure out what, you know, what could salvage it. But, um, you know, it's been a, it's been a, um, a nightmare in one respect, but a phenomenal experience to be a part of this franchise and another. And so, I, you know, I really hesitate to, um, you know, throw it all out. It's it's a pretty special place and had a had a fantastic uh, experience in a lot of ways, but it's also really uh, aged me about 20 years in another way. A couple more guys. Steve, just uh, over in December, you talked about having kind of looking at it as having an 18 month window left. Mm. Yeah. Are you still looking at it? Um, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'll take whatever I can get. Uh, you know, I mean, maybe there's a, a, a freaky picture where I get really really well and play beyond that but uh you know there's also the chance that something happens in the meantime but you know but uh so that that puts me in a place where i just i just want to play i just want to get anything i can out of my career at this point and, and walk away uh you know with a with a smile on my face and happy to uh to leave the game you were mentioning with gary kind of you know being able to tell you no and all that has that been a new thing you've had to deal with in terms of just having even more checks and balances than maybe before? I think the biggest thing is I never really had that many injuries before. And I never really wasn't in too many situations. Like maybe in Phoenix, you know, Aaron would tell me, I don't think you should play tonight. And I'd say, F you, I'm playing. <laughs> or maybe sometimes I'd say, I don't know if I'm ready. And he's like, trust me, you're OK, and I'll play. You know, but, you know, I've never really been in a situation like this. I mean, this I've, had, I've been very, very fortunate in my career and maybe, you know, the odds have been against me in the last 18 months or whatever, but uh, you know it's a new it's a new situation for me, and, and it's asking all new things of, of my resolve. I think maybe what Bill was saying that though is the, the stretch provision that they have that option for your contract for next season. Is, is that in your mind at all? Who said that? Sorry. A bill, like you, the, the Lakers have a stretch provision okay. for you for your contract. That maybe Bill was kind of hinting at that. Like, have you has that entered your mind at all that that next year? Well, I, I'd put it this way. I don't know all the uh, the technical possibilities, but I obviously know that there's nothing's guaranteed. I mean, obviously, right now you have a guaranteed contract, but you don't. You know what I mean? The future is totally in flux, is, and, and anything's possible in the NBA. Uh, and, and frankly, with my health, you know, I haven't proven to myself or anyone else that uh, you know my body still has um, what I what I think it has in the tank. And, I, and so I walk around feeling optimistic I can do it, but I also. Um, you know, reminded daily that uh, I have to prove it. So that's that's one re very real part of it. And then you know that the the structure of a roster and salaries and all that stuff is something that is kind of outside my expertise.